yo what's good y'all and welcome and welcome back to billy goat's prophetic vessel it's your girl billy goat we got a message for you this is for my sun moon rising venus and north node capricorn all right so let's get it cracking please know that i don't choose the storyline holy spirit does I don't choose the cards that come out, the Holy Spirit does, okay? And these readings are timeless. A message is a message. And when the Holy Spirit feels like you are in a particular place in your journey to be to receive, then you will, okay? Rather, this video has came out weeks ago, months ago, years ago, all right? So please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Holy Spirit, what does the Capricorn Collective need to see? My productivity stems from inspiration. When I focus on what brings me joy, my tasks become effortless actions. So some of you guys could be like feeling blah. So the Holy Spirit kind of like wants you to redirect your attention to, you know, and focus on the things that bring you joy. You know, that's healthy and positive. Focusing on the things that, you know, can provoke that of inspiration. You know, and that can be easier said than done depending upon, you know, the season that God has you in and the environment that you're physically in, you know, circumstances that are out of your control, basically. Uh, the difficult relationships in my life are the perfect mirror for me to look more closely at my own behavior. So you could have a lot of people in your life that you're just kind of like, oh, why are you here? Or oh, what is this shit? Like, oh, I don't feel like dealing with it. And the Holy Spirit is saying to kind of look at those connections as what have these connections been teaching me right you know not that they haven't been getting on your nerves right not that they haven't been challenging not you know things of that nature because also remember you could be challenging in someone else's life too okay you can be a thorn in someone else's ass too here right let's call a spade a spade none of us are perfect all right um but also at the same time ask yourself what is this energy showing me about me and that's not because it's not going to be the case in every case here but your most difficult ones you know what what are you if it's not showing something about you what are you learning from it though okay what are you learning what lessons what did this soul teach you whether it was good bad or ugly okay because in turn, you are also teaching their soul something and they have to learn what, what you're teaching them as well. Soul contracts, okay? I can't control the world, but I can control how I choose to perceive it, okay? And we have all that I need is coming to me in ways I could never have imagined. So everything that you've been praying and manifesting for, it is coming to pass, but it's unfolding in divine timing, which is irritating, okay? Because time is an illusion for them. So what could be one day for them could be like a month for us. And we have been in this waiting season suffering, right? Listen, I know, trust. Um, <laughs> well, just to give an example, with the Holy Spirit is saying things are coming in, but you may have to adjust your expectations of the how, okay? Because he works in mysterious ways. So be mindful of only focusing on, right? This kind of goes back to this card here. Be mindful of only what, be mindful of focusing on, only focusing on what is not working and what you're not getting. Be mindful of not dwelling in that energy, be um focus more so on because it's not that you can't be mad or sad about these things that's fine let it out in a healthy way you don't want to suppress at at the same time direct more of your energy and time and effort towards engaging in things that inspire you people that inspire you and things that are high vibrational and so on and so forth and thoughts right and yes it can be easier said than done however you know, with continuous practice, it can become a little bit more easier, right? And help us get more, you know, generate more positive energy for what we want. So 
So let's see here. Holy Spirit, this is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right. And also, just to remind you guys, this is a, a Capricorn slash Chosen channel. So sometimes you may hear me say Capricorn and Chosen or put in the caption Capricorn and Chosen because not everybody is a Chosen one and not every Chosen one is a Capricorn, okay? So also too, guys, if you want to check out your other placements, because it's always good to check out your moon, your Venus, okay? Uh, if you're looking for your finances, it's good to look at your Jupiter placement. If you're looking for love, it's really good to look at your Venus placement on top of, you know, your sun, your rising and so on and so forth. Um, check out our main channel. We do collective readings for all 12 zodiac signs. Don Juan Spiritual Guidance, that link is in the description box. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, you can feel free to do so via the website link donjuanspiritualguidance.com in the description box. It is the only way to book a reading with us, okay? All right, so Holy Spirit, what do we have for our Capricorns? Okay, Libra energy here. So some something could be revealed about a Libra. I'm sorry, something could be being revealed about a Libra. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be going from being in this indecisive, stubborn, vain, moody, self-pity, non-confrontational, people please your controlling, shallow energy. And you don't have to be embodying all of those. Those could be different for different people or you could be um, embodying some of these. These are shadow aspects, okay? Everybody has a shadow side. Everybody has shit that stinks. Nothing to be embarrassed about, okay? It's, that's why we're constantly evolving, healing, and growing. But you do have to choose to do that because you have to choose to put in the work to heal and unlearn and recondition and unconditioned you know okay so you can be in this sun energy here this happiness this leo energy okay um we have uh masculine energy because remember there is no such thing as gender and tarot energies as fluid we possess masculine and feminine energy so ego self present focus conscious will health prosperity authority leader strength determination personality okay so really like being persevering, persevering through a lot here. Um, things have not been the easiest here. You've been working on building your empire rather together with your divine counterpart or by yourselves for some of you. Okay, really working on establishing your legacy here. And I can tell because it's like with this Aquarius energy in reverse, um, and also these could be some of the difficult signs that you're dealing with, or these could be highly aspected in your chart, you know, doesn't have to be. These are just the energies that you are dealing with, period. Okay. Energetically for some of you guys. Okay. We have lack of focus, unpredictable, stubborn, that stubborn again, um, overthinker, radical, detached, extremist, pessimistic, rebellious, weak, Okay, so make sure you guys are focusing on your disciplines. Wow. Speaking of divine union. <laughs> okay, so. Eee. So something happened with a divine union for some of you guys here. Okay, not for everybody. Wow, look at the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit. God like, yeah, 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 yeah. Truth, victory, good news, mental clarity, strong vision, communication, success. Okay. So what you want to say, Holy Spirit, what you want to say? And please know, guys, that this could be past, present, and or future information for you. And again, I don't choose the storyline. The Holy Spirit does. I don't choose the cards to come out. The Holy Spirit does. All right. So you guys have been doing some astral traveling, whether you knew that you could or couldn't, okay? You have the ability to separate your astral body from your physical self and travel to different dimensions, realms, and connect with past on loved ones through meditation or dreams, okay? So, yeah, these are part of your, your spiritual gifts here. So it's, it's like 
you, you and your, your divine partner, whether you guys have met them yet or not. But something has something to do with that. So some of you guys could be visiting your family members, but something also has something to do with, you know, with your gifts here. And Wow. So you guys are meant to have wealth using your gifts. Okay. For those of you guys drawn to this video. And of course, you know, you still make your own decisions. I'm just a messenger. All right. But wealth is for you and your 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 divine gifts um and a union too like regardless of the union or not like this is still a part of you but that union is too if that makes sense okay guys okay so remember with this ace of swords remember i said right right when this ace of swords i was coming out that something could have happened to a divine union and the truth came out so there could be a karmic partner here or a karmic energy that interfered with a a, a divine partner a spiritual union okay rather monogamy poly lgbt lgbtqia plus love is love god doesn't discriminate against love here and if you don't like it you can take your free will and get up out of here this is a safe and sacred space we all need healing love and learning and god uh we have breaking generational curses yeah so going back to that union so this this could have Okay, so this is also going back to past life too. Yeah, I'm going with the downloads that I'm getting. Okay, y'all. So breaking generational curses. This so like whoever this divine partner is of yours, this isn't y'all first lifetime go around for those that believe in incarnate reincarnations. Okay. This same karmic energy, whether in the form of a person, energy, with a combination, whatever the case may be, this can manifest in habits, patterns, a person, both been traveling down in, in reincarnations and bloodlines here, okay? Energetically, person-wise, both, like I said. So this same thing has been happening and it needs to be broken because it's it's been preventing some sort of union from basically reaching its fullest potential here and for some of you guys you could be astral traveling to whoever your divine partner is okay and maybe you're not with them right now because they're with the karmic partner or maybe you are with the karmic partner and they're you know uh, flip the energies as you see fit here okay take it how it resonates if this is not your story it's simply not your story go find another reading okay Okay, this 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 got a uh, deep. Yeah, wow! Look, shadow. So shadow work to break this karmic energy and people person off here. That's been happening for generations here, stemming back from your past lives. Okay. Warning, think again, reckless, caution, reevaluate, tower ahead, not seeing the signs, lack of awareness. Now, chosen ones, you know that you are the black sheep, okay? Self-healer, strong in spirit, removing fear, guilt, shame, step-by-step, -step, new bloodline, legacy, fir first millionaire. So a lot of you guys are the first in your family to do something. First to go to college, first to graduate, right? First to um get out the hood first to get a house first to um start your own business and, and have a successful business right like you know you're changing the bloodline right um if some people were molested you didn't allow your kids to right you actually took key you you established precautions right things of that nature 
you actually listen to God. You take orders from the Holy Spirit. You receive prophetic messages and so on and so forth. You're breaking the generational curses, okay? So the Holy Spirit also wanted to take some time to mention that, hey, I see you. I see what you're doing. I see what you go, you're going through. But you're also supposed to have a partner as well to help you go through this too. But you had an interference. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Um, so somebody could have got warnings about this. About this, this side piece in wow, about this side piece energy. Walking away, commitment, exposed, caught up, ultimatum, threes of crowd, game over, returning home, separation, grass was not greener. So whoever decided to go towards this karmic partner, um, it was horrible. But and they were if they were they were warned. Somebody was warned, depending upon what side of the story, somebody was warned, and they still did it. Um, we have Virgo in reverse, stubborn, pickiness, critical, overly de independent, people pleaser, ruminative, easily annoyed, discontent in life. Okay. So somebody did this because they was this. It doesn't condone. Okay. But somebody just went ahead and did with it. And somebody still holding on to this comic partner despite getting the truth. It's like, we keep telling you we have a new love for you, or we keep telling you who your real, who your love is for some of you, okay? Um, but, you know, I'm hearing, but you're not listening, or, you know, some something here. Depending upon what side of the story you want, new relationships, celebrations, love, new romance, new beginning, fertility, happiness, joy, conception, pure intentions, Okay. King of Pentacles or King of Earth. Solid, stable, grounded, empire, wealth, faithful, good provider, dependable, growth, wisdom, ambition, wealth, fatherly figure, supportive. So this is like a, a see, going back to that empire. But somebody, somebody possessed this energy and somebody caused a separation from this energy here. Whether it was by self-sabotage and or. somebody's counterpart was in karmic energy too is what i'm getting so not only was this other energy in karmic energy somebody else was too you know we've all been in karmic energy okay we've all been so what does that what does that mean um like we've all had different lessons to learn, but we all had to choose to apply the wisdom, right? We had to choose to have a moral code of conduct. Remember, God gave us free will. Yeah, but the thing is, is that not everybody chose to heal. Some people chose to stay doing the same thing that keeps getting them the same result, right? Um, so that's low, you know, low vibrational energy. And not that you're not going to get in that. It's just that, you know, dwelling in that energy versus working towards getting yourself out and or having a balance, right? So this is someone that constantly stayed in low vibrational energy. In some ways may have enjoyed it because you, you know, haven't healed, haven't evolved. Um, unhealed trauma, you know, things of that nature doesn't condone it. Just this is what I'm getting. Um, so there, therefore your choices are that of low vibrational things, energy and places. So in some ways, guys, either you or whoever you were dealing with, depending upon the story that you're the side of the story that you're on here, they were in alignment with this karmic energy because they were still doing karmic shit. And God is not going to put a karmic energy next to someone who is evolving into empress emperor energies divine energies you know those titles have to be earned they are not just given and again no such thing as gender and tarot energy is fluid we possess masculine and feminine energies okay y'all i'm looking at two spiders here so spiders could be significant to you okay 
they could be significant, significant to you. <laughs> Y'all, and they, they, they the ones I actually like. They super small. Um, and they are certain species. I don't know what they are because I'm overcoming my fear. <laughs> okay, bit by bit. But anyways, um, yeah. Pay attention to anything that comes across your path, okay? So master something. Master some, so maybe you're gonna um, cause spiders also represent mastery too, okay? Light side of light side of uh, spiders, because remember we all have light and shadow sides. So um, and something's going to move quick, cause the spider they drew my attention to the speed. The spider like jumped and it like moved super quick, okay? So and it's two of them too. It's two small ones. Um. So that's also where I'm getting, that's also representing this as well. So it's like, as soon as you like get with your divine partner, if you feel like things have been slow, or even if you have just been building things, right? You know, whoever God has in store for you, it's like when you guys meet, or if this, this energy for some of you guys that you knew before, you just you have a situation going on right now, um, and depending upon the side of the story that you that you're on here, bring this back to God so God can tell you how to handle things accordingly. Because of course you're not obligated to wait on anybody, and they're not obligated to wait on you. Also, at the same time, you're chosen ones, so you have a double, triple mission. Okay, so for some of you guys, and we've said this in another reading too, a chosen reading too. For some of you guys, you have people that are a part of your mission. Okay. Well, you're responsible for them because they're a part of your mission. There we go. Holy Spirit correcting me. Okay, so but that's not for everybody. So, so take it back to the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit can give you the directions that are solely meant for you and your mission. All right. So cutting off fake friends, lonely, outgrown, part ways, walking away. So someone who it was in this karmic energy got with the, you know, the person that aligned with that karmic energy because they were in that karmic energy, again, doesn't condone, just kind of gives you an example here. Somebody has, whoever that is, whether that's you or whoever you're dealing with, somebody has to gain the courage to do this. It's like, okay, you got yourself in this, get yourself out. And... This could be difficult because depending upon, you know, some people may have a kid in this case with this energy. Now, some ki some people may have accidentally gotten married to this energy because they thought this was love when it was really lust, right? And, you know, this was either you or whoever you were dealing with here. And so with that being said, you know, but this was karma, right? For your divine partner, even thinking that they could find anybody else better than you than what God had in store. So this was also, I'm hearing, a, you know, divine ass whooping as well, okay? For looking for greener grass when you had the best of the best in front of you because that's who God had in store for you in the first place. So somebody, you know, somebody that's having a tough time getting out of something, it's, no, it's not for a co no coincidence, okay? No coincidence. So... But what, whatever it is that you guys are supposed to have, you know, that's that's about to be, it's, it's coming in. Whether somebody does what they got to do or God has to raise somebody else up for you or vice versa, you're going to get your happy ending in love and money, I'm hearing. Don't settle for less and have no fear. You are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Okay. Number 10 in numerology represents, uh, well, tens and tarot represents, um, cause there's nines in numerology, but tens and tarot is endings, completion. Okay. Which also reduces down to the number one, which is also talks about new beginnings. Okay. And have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Okay, so make sure you pray. You know, your archangels are around. This is Archangel Michael's deck. And, and of course, other archangels are in here too. So you can also call on them. They here. 
you do have to ask for help. I had to learn that too. Because I'm like, wait a minute, don't you see that I need help? And <laughs> it was like, well, because of free will, you know, they don't want to intercede on certain things that are like free will based. So yes, you do have to ask for help. Okay. They have universal laws that they follow too. All right. However, you know, you do what you do. Thank you all for your love and support here on this channel. It is truly, truly appreciated. And always remember, you guys, that you make your own decisions. Peace out. Deuces.